very positive performance on Saturday. What pleased you most about it? Well, first of all, Chris, I'm going to try and appear to be a little bit more upbeat than I was last week on my on my interview, where it was uh, a bit of a Christmas humbug. Um, well, obviously, the, the outcome of five points was really, really pleasing uh, and really important for us. Big game for both teams. Uh, I was pleased with the patience of the guys, actually. 3-0 down at half half time, it could have been easy to, you know, maybe have panicked a little bit, lost a little bit of confidence in, in what we're doing. Uh, but the game started to open up as, as we knew it would. Um, and we started getting a little bit quicker ball in, in the second half, which really helped our, our attack. Um, obviously, the other pleasing thing is only three points against on, on the scoreboard as well, which should fantastic reflection of, of the attitude of, of the guys and, and the coaching of Kieran in, in the defence. And we've got Coventry coming up this weekend. What are you expecting from that game? Obviously uh, a team in form, um, but the thing about this league is form and league position just means nothing. And it's just got to be a focus on Loughborough and going about it in, in the Loughborough way. Great place to go to as well. I uh, heard their last home game, they had 1,700 people or, or something as well. Good stadium, so hopefully there'll be a, a bump of Christmas crowd that we can get excited about playing in front of. And now that we've reached Christmas, that represents the halfway point of the season, so what have you made of this half? Well, it's, it's very, very tight in, in the league. It's clear there's a, a top four that's breaking away. Um, and maybe you know Macclesfield a little bit sort of marooned at, at the bottom by themselves. But apart from that, you know everyone else is very very bunchy. Uh, we currently lie in 12th, but I think you know we're 11 or 12 points off uh, sixth place. Um, so although you know not far out the drop zone, uh, we're in uh, you know a position where I want to look positively and think you know let's kick on. And it's halfway through through the season. It's uh, it's still very very early. Um, we can obviously draw out some stats, uh, so we scored 50 tries, which is, if you look at a league position, that's ninth. We conceded 48 tries, again, if you equate that to the league position, that's seventh. Uh, our points for would be tenth in the league table, our points against is an excellent fifth. Um, our kicking percentages are, are probably the lowest, at just 56%. Uh, and our discipline is the fourth worst in, in the league as well. Uh, we'd be fourth in, in the league of worst discipline, uh, having given away 14 yellow cards. If you think about we played 15 games, and 14 of those games we're playing uh, with uh, 10 minutes of 14 men, then obviously uh, that's an area that, that we've got to address going into the second half of the season. And Christmas is fast approaching, so what's your favourite Christmas song and Christmas movie? Favourite Christmas song is definitely the Pogues one. Uh, Favourite Christmas movie, it's not really a Christmas movie, but I love watching Trains, Planes and Multiple Bills uh, around Christmas time. I always watch a bit of the snowman as well. So. Very good result against Newcastle last week. What were your thoughts on it? Yeah, very pleased. Um, we, we built the game up quite a bit because it was our last game before Christmas. Um, but uh, the lads, the lads trained well, and, and we, we came out with a result. We're really good result actually. You know, bonus point win. Probably could have wrapped up a bit earlier, but um, yeah, very pleasing with all the distractions around as well. So yeah, good way to finish the year. Yeah. What are your overall thoughts on this half of the season? Um, really, I mean. Very good, actually. It's, it's still the, the Nottingham game is at the back of my mind, and it still bugs me that we lost that game. But uh, yeah, some of our performances have been fantastic. Some of the individuals have really stepped up and, and played very well. Um, and I think you know, we've also got a lot of freshers in, in the squad, and uh, that, that really bodes well for the future as, as, as well as the present. Um, there's quite a few guys that will be knocking on the first team door before very long as well. So uh, it's, it's been, it's been for me personally, been a great start to my coaching career. Really, really good environment. Uh, a good boss in Dave Morris, um, but and also a really good bunch of lads. So um, yeah, just very pleased with the whole whole way uh, the, f the first four months of my life has gone. What are your aspirations for the second half of the season? Um, I think just do ourselves justice. Really, uh, we've, we've done a done a lot of good things this uh, first half of the season. Uh, and just you know, a good, a really good squad, very talented squad. Um, we could go quite a long way in the, in the competition. You know, there's uh, a couple of a couple of league games left, and then we're into the knockout stages this week if we qualify. 
So there's not a lot left in the season really, for a maximum of several games. Um, I, I think we just want to make sure that we, you know, we get what we deserve. We, we work hard and, uh, and keep improving. Uh, and you know, who knows how far we can go. And as we're at Christmas time, what are your favourite Christmas song and favourite Christmas movie? Uh, Christmas song, Fairytale New York by the Pogues. So we had a good result against Tyndale on the weekend. What did you make of that game? Yeah, Tyndale was, was a big one for us. Uh, great to get the five points. Um, from my point of view, we defended really well. Uh, gave them three points early on and then never let them, never let them in after that. Um, and I thought we actually, it was, it was probably one of our 80 minute performances of the season and that's something we've talked about um, quite a lot, you know, we've said we've put together some cracking 40 minutes at times, cracking 60 minutes at times but not quite put together for the 80 minutes. Um, and yeah, there's loads of accuracies we could get better at um, taking out that game, you know, it wasn't a perfect game at all but I just felt it was 80 minutes where we were concentrated, um, we stuck to our game plan and uh, we got what we deserved out of it. Um, Tyndale, I'm sure, will bounce back as well. Um, I think we just did a little bit of a number on them and they'll come up with some better results as well. And we've got Coventry coming up this weekend. What are your hopes for that game? Yeah, um, we ran them close in the first half of the season there. I think it's the second game of the season. Uh, we've played them and we played some really good stuff. Um, they've obviously hit a bit of form as well now. Um, so have we, so have we, I think we're now a better team than we were when we played them. Um, I believe they are as well. Um, so this is going to be a good game, this is going to be a cracker. It'll be nice to finish off the season, or the, the year, sorry, in a high. Favourite Christmas film? Yeah. Uh, oh, it's uh, easy that one. Um, <laughs> But my granddad was blind and when I was younger, I used to make, make him sit down and watch, actually watch uh, Yogi Bear's first Christmas um, and he could recite it word from word and I just, I never caught it on until I was a little bit older that he obviously can't watch the <laughs> film, uh, bright child obviously, so that's my favourite, Yogi's first Christmas.